And now, let us proceed to question B. Okay, question B. It says that what are the velocity and speed of the rock when it is a 256 feet above the ground on the way up and on the way down? So this question, okay, which means it means that okay, we uh we we know that okay the question asks us to find out this location right here at 256 okay that we can put uh in this diagram right here 256 okay here at this position right here you see the question mentioned 256 feet uh, above the ground uh, okay so this position we want to know what is the v at this location we want to know the v okay so in order to do this okay uh, again, we need to know the time, the t, okay, in order for us to find out uh, what is the velocity, lah, okay? Because the velocity for question B, uh, the v we have found out earlier just now from question A. V, we understand that is equal to what? Just now, uh, our v is ds dt, right? And we have done the ds dt just now, which is equal to what? Which is equal to 160 minus 32 t, uh, which is here, yeah? Okay, so... Uh, we want to find out V, uh, of course, we need the T, okay, we need the T, so we need to find out the T. And the known information that we have, the information that we know is the S is equal to 256, okay, 256 is the information that we know. Okay, so therefore, again, we are going to use the equation in the question 160T minus a 16T squared, okay. So since the information is known as 256 for the S, we just substitute the 256 into the S. So 160t minus 16t squared. So for this equation itself, it's actually a quadratic equation. So what you need to do, just do rearrangement, everything move to the left hand side, then it will become 16t squared minus 160t and plus with 200 and 56 that is equal to a zero okay so we just need to do a rearrangement then from here i can see that i have a common term i have 16 160 and 256 actually the common term is a 16 i take out a 16 okay so i can uh, factorize factorize out the 16 so 16 then 16 times what will be 16 t squared then of course it's a t squared here then 16 times what? We will get the 160t. So it's actually a 10t, right? A 10t. And 16 times what? Then we're going to get a 256 right here. So it will be another uh, 16. La. 16 times 16 is a 256. Eh? Okay. So this is uh, how we do the factorization and we can continue to do our uh, factorization right here. Yeah, We can continue to do our factorization right here, make two brackets. So t squared, so means that here is a t and t. Then we have a 16. So 16, there are a few combinations. So we have 1 times 16. Okay, we have 1 times 16. We have 2 times 8. Okay, so we have 4 times 4, right? So which sets of value that we need to use so of course we are going to use 2 and 8 because the middle part right here is a 10 eh? so of course 2 and 8 if we combine then we are going to get a 10 eh? so we are going to use 2 and 8 okay and of course uh, we are going to make it both negative and negative right because a negative 2 and the minus another 8 we are going to get a negative 10 at the middle and negative 2 times with negative 8 we got a positive 16 right here so it means that that is our um, factorization we have factorized it now and after factorize of course we can try to find out our t values okay so for these t values right here uh, as we can observe is uh, t is equal to 2 that is the first one and the second t value is a 8 so this again we have to put a measurement unit is in seconds so t is equal to 2 and t is equal to 8 seconds Okay, but we are not answering the question yet. We are going to answer the questions uh, by substituting, okay, to the velocity. Because question asks about velocity. There's the first and second, they ask about the speed. Yeah? So first, uh, we put in two. Okay, let's, for example, for this one, t is equal to 2s, two seconds first. Okay, we take this one, uh, t is equal to 2, yeah? 
So we put into the um, V uh, equation, so which we have found out that V is equal to 160 minus 32 T. Yeah? So which means that in this case, V is equal to 160 minus 32 times 2. Yeah? So answer is uh, 160 minus 32 times 2. Okay, answer is 96. Huh? Is there 96. So, and again, students right here, we need to put in the measurement unit, yeah? So, how to put in the measurement unit, okay? So, we look at the um, derivative, la. so S and T, right? Okay, S and T. So, V is equal to dS over dT. S is the uh, displacement which measured in, in this case, is the fit, right? And T, T is the time. Time, in this case, is measured in seconds. You see, T is on the numerator. Uh, sorry, S is on the numerator and T is at the denominator. So, which means that fit, the measurement unit will be fit is on the top and denominator, so over the uh, denominator will be second S. Okay, S, I use S to represent the second answer. So, it's a 96 feet per second. So, that is the first answer. That is the velocity, okay, when T is equal to 2 seconds. And then, okay, we also want to find out the uh, speed. So speed normally is just the modulus, right? So in this case, the V itself is 96. So even if we modulus a 96, we still got tin a 96, right? So it's a 96 feet per second still, still the same thing. So when T is equal to 2 seconds, okay, T is equal to 2 seconds, the velocity is 96 and the speed is equal to 96 feet as well. So this is velocity, yeah? velocity, and this is a speed. Okay, so we just found out the first one, and we have to proceed for the second one. Second one is the second timing that we have found just now is eight seconds. So again, we are repeating the same thing. V is equal to, okay, we substitute now, 160 minus 32 T, the T we substitute with eight right now. And when we try to solve this, use our calculator, 160 minus 32 times 8, then we have obtained this answer of 90, negative 96. And of course, this measurement unit is also the same measurement unit, la, ds over dt, right? So it's a fit over second, fit per second as well. Okay, so this answer, yes, is again, uh, is for velocity, velocity, okay? And if we want to find out the speed, we need to modulus it. So a negative 96, if we modulus it, our answer is a 96 feet per second. So this is the answer for speed when t is equal to 8 seconds. Okay, so from here, what we can understand is, okay, right, you see the diagram, try to observe from the diagram. So t Okay, the beginning part right here, the T uh, is a, a zero here, right? At the beginning part right here, T is equal to zero when it's first start, okay? When the stone, when the heavy rock still haven't launched yet, okay? Then when it reach 256, that means that at this level, of course, the time is uh, two seconds first, lah. it will reach at two seconds. Then the time will keep increasing and increasing, right? Then it will go up until the maximum where just now we found out that uh, at the highest level right here, T is equal to 5 seconds, right? And of course, it will come back down again, right? It will come back down again. And when it reach uh, at the same level of 256, then now the T is uh, 8 seconds, okay? So at the 256, there are two times. One is 2 seconds and the other is 8 seconds, okay? And which means that we understand in this case that uh, 2 seconds, this one, okay, these answers right here, 2 seconds, is when it's moving up, yeah, it's moving up. And while the 8 seconds answers is the one that is the way down, yeah, okay. So one is up, okay, one is going up, this is the time and that is the uh, speed and velocity. And when it's going down time, okay, the arrow, you see the stone, the, the rock is going down, okay, you are having a 8 seconds, the time is 8 seconds. 